Hi guys, John Biggs with TechCrunch here. We are in a Hardware Alley. This is my favorite whole thing of the, all of the stuff in the Disrupts. Uh, this day is the day I bring in all these cool hardware guys, and these guys are Siva Cycle, correct? Siva Cycle, that's right. So what's this poor man doing? Uh, so he's slaving away our lightweight, highly efficient bicycle generator that delivers power via USB platform, USB 2.0 platform, uh, to basically any USB rechargeable device. So got a couple options. Basically, the, the riding will recapture some of the uh, kinetic energy. Little indicator light there to show that it's powering. So it's plugged under the, if you can get a shot of his, uh, his butt there, basically, there's an underseat USB port um, that then you know can plug in here uh, to my phone. So charging now, that's great. Or you get where you're going, you remove the battery pack, which is right here. Uh, and you have a 1300 milliamp hour battery pack, about 70% of an iPhone 5 more or less, with a USB uh, port. So it's power for now, power for later kind of idea for the modern connected cyclists. Now, I mean, at what point is this too much? You have, you have a generator on here, pretty soon you're going to have like a coffee maker, you're going to have like a blender. <laughs> uh, it is, Isn't it's this too much? much? Uh, haven't you crossed the line? Maybe, but we like to think of it as just repurposing the infrastructure that's already out there. You know, people are biking, people are biking around. We're all using our phones for everything from you know Twitter, Facebook, listening to music, etc. This is just another way to kind of stay connected on the go. You know, give people usability in everyday life. So it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. All right, Siva Cycle. Where do they go to the, on the website? SivaCycle.com. Uh, SivaCycle.com. We're also on Kickstarter right now. Uh, we just got fully funded yesterday and looking to announce some uh, new stretch goals, things like that. So go check it out. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. All right, let's keep going. There were supposed to be dogs here somewhere, as far as I understand. Oh, these are these are some fun guys. What are you guys up to? Did you guys just make a lot of like a million dollars, right? Yeah. So uh, spending spending uh, money to make a great product. Uh, yeah. so social bicycles. Yep. So we have a, a bike with an integrated GPS-enabled locking system. It's for public bike share systems. You can find a bike in one location, ride around, and drop it off at another. Uh, unlike the New York City system that's coming, for us, all the technology is on the bike. So it's lower cost, more convenient for the user. So what's New York City's problem? Why didn't they use your stuff? Um, well, they started that process probably two years ago. Uh, two to three years ago, and so when they did it, we were we were still prototyping and developing it, and uh, because of all their delays, now we have a, a mature product, and we're going to be doing some uh, a pilot project in Hoboken, New Jersey. So we'll have a, a different showcase right across the river. I mean, Hoboken is in New York. Hoboken is like a Hoboken's Hoboken, yeah. Uh, well, we we're doing. Uh, we think it's a pearls great before swine. <laughs> I'm, I, 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 you said it, I didn't. I, no, you said that. I, Hoboken's a, a great city. It's like close. I got, got transportation there. I got the path train, the ferries. So I think it'll be a really great test for our product. Um, that said, we're still interested in opportunities in the New York Metro. Um, they're not going to serve Greater New York with City Bike. They're only going up to Central Park South. So they're not covering the Upper East Side, Upper West Side, most of Brooklyn. Well, could you guys do like a gorilla sort of situation where you just leave the bikes out? We could, and it's something we've talked about internally, but you know, there's so many opportunities for this around the country, around the world, that at this point we're really preferring to work with cities. Uh, they're giving us the support, they're helping to promote the product and give us the infrastructure. So at present we're focused on working with cities that want to partner with us, not trying to be like renegades and like sneak something by them. And to be clear, I think Hoboken's a beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs> I, right, so I agree. What's, what's next? You got Hoboken, you got St. Petersburg. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, Tampa, and then hopefully St. Pete is going to come along with Tampa, uh, Hoboken, New Jersey, Buffalo, New York. We're working with a car sharing organization there. Uh, first time bike bike sharing car share has been done under one operator. Uh, San Francisco at the airport, we have a system for their employees, and Sun Valley, Idaho, we're doing a project with a uh, transit agency. So by the end of the year, the year we'll have five projects live and on the ground with the data coming off of that. Excellent. Yeah, and I remember when you guys just first started out, it was like a little, it was just your like scientific experiment, and then all of a sudden you got this. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Look at this. This poor man uh, almost was killed by a, uh, a flying thing. Where are the, are the dogs here? Uh, there's Gitar. I don't know where those guys went. Oh, this is you. Yeah, there you are. Hey, tell us all about, I got this thing, but yeah. Pounds. Yeah. Lumu. Tell us about Lumu. Uh, Lumu. 
it's a device, it's a little device to make you a perfect photographer, right? So you take this, you take your iPhone, your iPod, you plug it in, it recognizes it, and then you can measure light. It's a professional light meter, right? You set it up, press set, it measures light. You take these three parameters and uh, put them in your analog or digital camera, and you take perfect photos for this environment, right? You like that these parameters, or you can change them, you can press plus and save them. You can save them in cloud, geotag it, add photo, save it. You can check them out later at film rolls, everything is here, everything is saved. See this photo, where it was taken, and use these parameters again if you'd like to. And you can see the data flowing in here, so lux, the light measurement, if I cover it goes down. Now why wouldn't you just use a camera on the iPhone? Because it's, it's not accurate enough for a professional or anyone who wants to take great photos because you have to have this dome, diffusion dome, and this is uh, the most accurate sensor inside. It doesn't use any batteries, it's powered from the iPod, so it works forever, made from aluminum, and it's going to be way cheaper than the existing light meters. We're coming soon on Kickstarter and it's going to be 99. All right, very cool. Lumo.com. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go see what these guys are up to. What are you? What are you guys up to over here? What's happening over here? Little, uh, little the old, uh, little the old Sarah here. Is this the Sarah? We have it. The Sarah is finally out. So, we are Thermo Essence Technologies, and we build safe vaporizers in California. Um, basically, we're the only people out there that uh, can hand you a vaporizer and stand behind the materials that are in the product. In other words, there's no fiberglass, no glue, no solder. Um, no tape, nothing weird in there that might uh, harm you if you were um, into vaporization or trying to quit smoking. So do no harm. Yeah. And you guys just made a, uh, you're going to have different colors in this. This is a fully, fully ceramic object, right? Right. Right. So this, this device here is made out of zirconia. So that's a structural ceramic. Uh, it's in the same family as uh, synthetic diamonds. And the metal parts come in either titanium or stainless steel. And it works with anything that you would smoke in the world. So anything anybody's smoking anywhere in the world, we have a way for them to not smoke it and therefore not get the carcinogens that come. What if I wanted to like smoke tar? We wouldn't recommend smoking tar. Uh, dirt is also not. Very no popular. dirt. No dirt. Yeah. <laughs> but glass. Yeah. Glass. Yeah, it's, it doesn't get that hot. No, nah, I wouldn't recommend the okay, fiberglass. Cool. So yeah. there you go. No, no fiberglass smoking and no tar, dirt smoking. Yeah. All right. How much is this thing now? So these to get into the base model of these, you're looking around 250, and then if you want the titanium version, you're up at 500. And you're manufacturing these in a little a little warehouse out in absolutely out a, new, in a new facility we just moved into this last fall. Um, so it's it's nice and high tech and clean and safe. And uh, you know, like I've uh, mentioned before, it's 100% U.S. source materials, and uh, we're creating jobs and helping pe people quit smoking in in uh, San Carlos. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks a lot, guys. All right. Where are we headed now? Let's go over here. A little tweak of blue. How's everything? Pounds. Very good. Pounds. There we go. Very good, good. So you guys are making books for kids? Yeah, so we're disrupting parenting. We're making prints and family mementos effortless. So Tweakaboo is a platform for family memories where families can share content privately. As they share, we journal and we send you surprises that look like this. All right. So the whole thing is we're converting social content into, into streams like this. If you get a notification on Tweakaboo, we've just made a book for you because 88% of photo books never get printed, that get started, and they are turning into momentous like this then. So it's... Um, so this is a private social network f just for your family? Yeah, so like we want to own family, you know what I mean? So Tweakaboo is like, uh, you know, the people you invite into your house for dinner, the family and friends you have around on the weekends, the people who really care about your kids. So we're creating an intimate space for them to share, and it's mom moments and memories, basically all the magical stuff that your kids do but we never get a chance to remember. And we want to make, take the pain out of the print for busy moms. Right, so it's tweakaboo.com? Tweakaboo.com, you can download it on the App Store. Love to hear your opinions. All right, perfect. Thanks. All right, we're going to wander around a little bit. But let's go over and see the dogs before we run out of time. This is all kinds of fun. Where are the dogs? Where, where are the dogs? Oh, there's the dogs. There's the dogs. So. This is Daisy. Hello, John. How's it going? Yeah. Hi, Daisy. So, uh, so, so, what's your opinion on this uh, this project? I think she loves it. I know. What are you guys What are you guys working on here? What are you working on with Daisy? <laughs> so this is Fitbark. Uh, it's a little tiny tracker. In fact, it's a, 
it's so tiny that we cannot e even put it on the on the on the camera, but this is really it. It's 10 grams. It's tiny, um, and our dogs are you know loving it, not complaining about it. Um, so it's uh, uh, the idea is that uh, we have developed Fitpark to teach ourselves how to become better dog parents um, and uh, to really start Fitbit answering for Fitbit for no, dogs. It's not Fitbit for dogs. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not Fitbit for dogs. So. Um, we like to think uh, um, if you if you would like to you know very easily to, to to tell people what the technological content is so what's 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 in here um, it's similar technology to Nike Fuel Band to Fitbit yes it is however uh, the reason did you dip your hand in like meat what's what's going on here <laughs> I don't know, I think I I I, um, I got a I don't know. I, I, I probably got a little, you know, sal sal salmon left. <laughs> so the, really, the idea is to um, to build something uh, that helps us feel connected with our dogs at all times. Uh, and uh, the way to do this uh, is, uh, is is we put a little tracker. It communicates uh, via Bluetooth uh, 4.0 with the smartphones of any of the owners or caretakers or or dog walkers of of, uh, of this dog or it communicates as well to the home base, yeah. which is a cute dog house that you leave home uh, and that talks uh, to Bluetooth to the device or via Wi-Fi to your, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to our website. So what's the website that you guys? It's fitpark.com. And you guys are doing a Kickstarter now. We started Kickstarter uh, five days ago and we welcome uh, uh, love, contribution, support, tweets, anything. I know, right? Let's look, look at this poor. Yeah. Daisy sitting there. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're going to head out. Thank you very much, Thank you very and we'll much. see you guys back here in a little while. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. We're down here in Hardware Alley, my favoriteest day of all the days here at Disrupt. Uh, thank you for watching.